In this video, we've got our hands on the Oppo Find X3 Pro. This is a flagship smartphone from Oppo and it is priced pretty up there. It comes equipped with two 50 megapixel cameras as well as a microscope camera. Not a macro camera, a microscope camera with a built-in LED ring flashlight. So without wasting any time, let's, let's get into this review. Now our main focus for this video is obviously going to be that microscope camera and the camera system in general, but let's get started by talking about the build quality and the design on this. It is built really beautifully. It has premium shiny design with glass as well as aluminum frame and the color on this is the gloss black. It has a curved and tapered design which is super thin and lightweight. One unique touch to this is the way that the back curves up to meet the camera bump which is one of my favorite things about this. When you look at the device on its own, it literally looks like melted metal. Like it looks like mercury or something from the Terminator. It looks really, really nice. And I like how light bounces off of it. It is also IP68 water and dust resistant. And that means you can use it in water for up to 30 minutes. Also, it does come with Dolby Atmos supported dual speaker system, but there is no 3.5 mm jack as expected. Let's move on to the display on this, which is one of the main selling factors apart from the camera. You've got a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with HDR10 plus and Quad HD plus. You've got 120 Hertz of refresh rate, 240 Hertz touch sampling rate, 10 bit color, as well as 1300 nits peak brightness. The colors on this are outstanding. If you find HDR10 plus videos or 10 bit color videos, these look absolutely stunning on this phone. There's literally no competition. You can also customize the way the colors look within the settings for the display. And the different modes are really optimized for it, giving you up to five hertz of refresh rate in different applications if you use the smart resolution as well as smart refresh rate. So software wise, it's been optimized pretty well with their very own color OS 11.2 based on Android 11. This is running off of Snapdragon 888, so this is top of the line processor on the market. Supports wireless charging. You get 256 GB of storage with that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, 12 gigs of RAM. Overall, it is a beast of a phone and it performs really well. Even the fingerprint sensor built into the display is pretty darn fast. Next, moving on to what a lot of you are here for, the camera. The main shooter is a 50 megapixel main lens. You've got a 50 megapixel ultra wide, 3 megapixel micro lens, as well as a 13 megapixel telephoto with 5 times hybrid zoom. The micro lens comes with its very own built-in LED ring flashlight. Let's take a look at some of these test shots and see how good it is. All right, this is me from the future. This video was originally supposed to be us comparing it to this pro level macro lens. Because the Oppo Find X3 Pro is a micro lens, it gets even closer than this pro level macro lens. So that's something pretty interesting to keep in mind. All right, keep watching. So the image on the left is the standard zoom and the right is the microscope camera. When I say it is microscopic, it really, really is. You can see so much closer than any macro lens I've tried. Even my pro level DSLR macro lens isn't able to get that much detail out of images and get that close. It is just three megapixels, that is true. But because of the light, the way that the ring light works and how close you are, the detail it captures is insane. This also, by the way, works with video mode, so you can get incredibly close to the subject even while using the video mode. Speaking of video, it does really well with video as well. So the standard video on its own, if you shoot right out of the camera, looks really great. Switching through different lenses, you can see that the hybrid zoom kicks in and it works really well. Even with the digital zoom all the way in, you can see so much detail. And I was actually quite generally impressed with the zoom quality on this. Uh, it does retain the same color, same look overall when you're switching through different lenses, pretty much. It looks pretty good. But where it really shines is the log footage. The log footage basically transforms this into a cinema camera. You can shoot flat flat colors with no compression and then color grade color correct based on your likes and what you want the image to look like. This gives you so much customization and you can really transform the footage overall. It even adds the black bars top and bottom and gives you that film aspect ratio and you color grade to your heart's content and you get great footage. Here's a comparison. This is standard video and then this is the log footage. You can see so much more detail in the shadows and highlights and it looks so nice overall. On the left you have the regular, right is log before color grading and after color grading, you can see how much better the log footage looks on the right. The selfie camera, even the portrait mode is very sharp in details and looks pretty nice overall. And then when you look at the zoom, it zooms pretty darn far. The hybrid lens works really well, maintaining a lot of detail and colors are pretty similar. Even the ultra wide shooting at 50 megapixel gives you so much detail. Uh, the shot on the left is not in the 50 megapixel mode, shot on the right is 50 megapixel mode. The one on the left looks pretty good, it's not terrible, but it is overly sharpened, but the right side image is purely megapixel. So all in all, what do we think about the Oppo Find X3 
Pro. This is a premium device. Now, using this for a while, you really learn to love the beautiful curves to it, the edges, the, the overall look to the phone. It's so sleek and really, really stylish looking. And I really do like that. Resolution is just booming and through the roof, especially considering the colors as well. If you find videos that do support 10-bit and HDR with higher resolutions, I definitely recommend watching them on this. It really doesn't do it justice watching it through the video. This is absolutely killer. The camera quality is great across all the different lenses that you guys saw. 50 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide. Not many smartphones do that. So really great to see them take that initiative. You get the same colors overall. It looks really, really great. The microscope camera may be a little gimmicky. I'm not very sure who would use that all the time, but it's a feature that I really enjoyed playing around with and showing my colleagues. And it was just a lot of fun to see how much detail you can really capture. One of the cons I guess would be the battery life not being the best. It's not a huge battery especially with the 120 hertz the quad hd the 10 bit color but it does make up for it with the 65 watt charging which is super fast so you get in 10 minutes up to 45 percent of battery life which is one of the fastest ones but with all that fluff out of the way it is priced very high i do believe that this is one of the most expensive phones on the market uh, it really does come down to what you're looking for from a smartphone you need that 10 bit color you need that microscope camera quad hd 120 hertz snapdragon processor it's pretty much got everything you need on there, but I still do feel it's slightly overpriced for other phones that you can get pretty similar in this price range, but it does have it very unique features to it, like that microscope, 50 megapixel ultra wide. not very sure about how many other phones are doing that. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and do consider subscribing for more content just like this, and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.